Hi, this is Mushtaq Amin and in this video we are going to see the 10 basic rules of footing construction and do watch this video fully because this is going to be useful for all the site engineers and let's get into the video. Okay, rule number one, six inch sand filling should be provided inside the excavated pit, which means inside the excavated pit before the construction of the footing, we need to fill the pit with six inch sand and that's going to act as a bed. So rule number two, six inch PCC should be provided inside the excavated pit. So after sand filling is done, we need to provide six inch PCC on top of it. The ratio of PCC should be taken as one is to four is to eight or one is to five is to 10. Rule number three, three inch cover blocks should be provided at the bottom of the footing reinforcement. So before the placement of footing reinforcement, we need to provide cover blocks at the PCC bed and we should also provide 3 inch cover distance at the top. If 3 inch cover blocks is not available, you can go for a 1.5 inch cover blocks binded together. Rule number 4. Minimum dimension of footing should be 4 feet by 4 feet. So except step column, we need to provide 4 feet by 4 feet as a minimum footing dimension. So what is a step column? where it is used. It is the column that is terminated at the plinth level. This column is used as an intermediate support for the plinth beam. So in step column, we can provide 3 feet 6 inch by 3 feet 6 inch footing as a minimum dimension. But for the column up to the groove level, we need to provide 4 feet by 4 feet as a minimum dimension of footing and maximum we can provide according to the structural design. So rule number 5. Minimum depth of the footing should be 12 inch. So this is the minimum depth to be provided and maximum we can provide according to the structural design. Rule number six, minimum spacing of the bars should be four inch. So the center to center distance between the reinforcement bars should be four inch and not less than that. Since the coarse aggregate that is the blue metal cannot pass through the spacing. Rule number seven, Minimum dia of the bars should be 8 mm. So 8 mm diameter rod is the minimum size that can be used. So 10 mm, 12 mm, 16 mm can be used according to the structural design. Rule number 8. Development length should be bent 90 degree. So what is the development length? Development length is the L shape provided at the end of every reinforcement bar in the footing and that should be bent exactly 90 degree. Rule number 9. Development length is equal to depth of the footing minus 6 inch. So how did we get that? We need to add the top cover distance that is 3 inch and the bottom cover distance that is 3 inch. So we get 6 inch and then we need to subtract the total depth to the 6 inch so that we get the development length. Rule number 10. Cover distance in the sides should be 3 inch. So, before keeping the reinforcement, make sure the four sides of the pit walls do not touch the reinforcement bars and have 3 inch cover distance on all the four sides. If not, the rod will get corroded and can create problem in the future. So these are the 10 basic rules of footing construction and if you like this video, do press the like button and share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you. Meet you in the next video.